congratulations because this was the European Social Innovation Competition. There were more than 600 applicants from all European countries. And from these 600 applicants, a very expertise jury, you saw who was on the jury, it was quite a group. They uh, selected and they went through all the 600 applicants, and we did as well, actually. And you were selected on being the semi-finalist for this competition. I can see that everybody is on the at least more than 50% towards uh, a collaborative approach, except for him. So, Juan Miguel, why did you position yourself there? I'm outside of the line. And you're outside of the line. Why did, why did you choose to be outside of the line? Because I would do whatever works. And it doesn't matter. Oh, I like this guy. Implement your idea. And you only evaluate it at the very end. So it's only at the end of your project that you figure out, all right, are we doing some good? And the value of using examples um, to make it to make it real, because there was a challenge of how do you make it real in such a short space of time. Ventures will be absolutely delighted because they're the ones who are really frustrated. I mean, you know, the, where all the big money is, is in people who want a decent return and a, and a positive social impact. Aerial journey and you've got a picture of the duck. It's got to be paddling, flapping and wading through the ship because that's, that's what you go through. So uh, this, is, this is a personal story beneath the surface. Yes, uh, because of the, the, the economic crisis and uh, the budget cuts, a lot of social services are vanishing here. Um, and um, supposedly, uh, the citizens have to fill in the empty spots. Hi, I'm Emma Stewart and I'm from Women Like Us. And our ambition is to grow a quality part-time recruitment market in the UK so that anyone can find work to fit with family life. Shops used to be the heart of our neighbourhood. In these familiar and close spaces, we could not only buy and sell stuff, but we could also get to know each other, share information and share resources that could improve our way of living. Let's just do a circular bar. I provide website development for you. You can provide social innovation consulting for him, and I get the business consulting in return. So we have done without money, and without credit, an economic exchange. And this is how we solve for today at least our unemployment problem. The problem we are trying to address is the lack of inclusion and opportunities of young unemployed people. These people have right skills and knowledge for a specific workplace, but they cannot access to it due to the lack of economic resources. Our solution is to develop packaging, use packaging as a social medium where to convey information, work basic information and also contextualize knowledge on work, job and training opportunities. Mm, I think it was challenging and it was interesting to see other points of view. Um, and actually, it's nice to see how people think in a logical way, in a different way. A diverse group of people with very powerful ideas. It's social innovation, but not in theory, very much on the grounds and in practice to happen in Europe.